Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this tutorial where we're going to be looking closely at conclusion examples to try and test the knowledge and theory that you have gained from the previous tutorial. Okay, I want you to have a go at this question now by pausing the video. Press play again to find out what the answer is. Okay, now the answer you should have gotten is C. The govern government must think again about their policies on fires. C is the main conclusion because the author is hinting at the fact that the government played a role and could have played a role in preventing what happened at Grenfell. Okay, now this question you can actually answer by using the process of elimination and we'll see why that is the case. So if we look closely at A, the rigorous fire tests are a common example of red tape. Now, while this is hinted at in the bit that it is highlighted as red, we are given no indication that these fire tests are a common example of red tape. Now, they are an example and they are seen as red tape, but we don't know if they're a common example, okay? Another thing is that we're looking for the main conclusion of the argument. It's not, you know, which of these statements is true. The same can be said about B. B is mentioned in the text. But remember, we are looking for the main conclusion, not one of the conclusions and not one of the premises. D has the same issue. The cladding in the building was thought to be one of the reasons of that the fire spread enormously quickly. The cladding at Grenfell caused the fire in the building is what D states. Now, this is perhaps true, but it's not what the passage is, you know, trying to get at. It's not the main conclusion of the argument. And E, the government is more concerned about cost than safety. Now, this is false, okay? So the bit I've highlighted, the local council opted for a cheaper form which compromised on fire safety and was ultimately a key player in the spread of the fire. Now, the reason this is an incorrect answer is because it's very opinionated and it could be the case that the government is concerned more about safety than costs, as red tape could be interpreted in many ways. The local council did opt for a cheaper form of cladding. However, it's unfair to extrapolate this local council's actions to the entire government. Okay, so you really need to be careful and see what sort of adjustments are being made with the statements presented. If instead it said the local council is more concerned about cost than safety, then it would be fair to argue that this could be one of the main conclusions. Okay, but it's unfairly using extreme language by extrapolating the conditions of a local council to the entire government. Have a go at this question now. Pay attention to what the question is actually asking you to do, okay? Pause the video now. Now for this question, you should have gotten B as the correct answer. You have to be careful because it is slightly different to the question we have just looked at. We are looking at what can be reliably concluded Therefore, it does not necessarily have to be the main conclusion of the passage and can therefore just be something that was mentioned. Let's look at each option now and why they are false and incorrect. So A. Brighton have not played for the top flight before. Now this is false as because we are told that they're preparing for the first top flight campaign since 1933, suggesting that they have previously played there. Okay. Looking at C now. C is false because we don't have enough information on how it's been dealt with. We just know that it is an issue. D. The fact that Sir Elton John was chairman was one of the main reasons they suffered from homophobia. Now again, be careful with what this statement actually says. It could have potentially been a reason, but we don't know if it is what if it was one of the main reasons. Okay, and E, Stephen Fry is homosexual. Now, it is implied that Stephen Fry is, you know, non-heterosexual and likely to be part of the LGBT community from the information presented. But he could be a member of any other non-heterosexual organisation. For example, he could be bisexual, transsexual. It does not necessarily, it cannot necessarily be inferred that he is homosexual. Now have a go at this question, which is a lot more 
straightforward and traditional where we're asked to find the main conclusion. You can use the process of elimination here and you can also look at using conclusions and premises to find your answer. Have a go. Okay, now this should be fairly obvious what the actual conclusion is. You should be able to use a the trigger, therefore, to help guide you that this whole argument is referring to self-esteem. It is providing a compelling case for why social media affects self-esteem. And yep, as I said before, a good trigger is therefore. Okay, very straightforward. Moving on to this question now. Okay, again, pause the video and try and understand what the main conclusion is. Luckily for us, another trigger word is used here, most important of all. Okay, we're told most important of all, nobody knows exactly how many people live in Lagos, but they all agree on one thing, Nigeria's biggest city is growing at a terrifying rate. Okay, it can therefore be inferred that the main conclusion is that Lagos's population is growing exponentially. Now for those of you that don't know what exponentially means, it means increasing by a large volume over a short space of time. Okay, so the trigger word most important of all should guide you to that answer. We can also rule out the others using process of elimination. Lagos is located in Nigeria. Now this is again true, but the question is asking us for what the main conclusion of the above passage is. The population of Lagos is between 14 million to 21 million. Now, we can't know this for sure because we just know that the population estimated is estimated differently by the two sources, which are the UN and the Lagos state government. See, there is a great deal of poverty in Lagos. This is again true, but it's not the main argument conclusion. Okay, It could be argued that, you know, it is mentioned in a lot of detail, so why is this not the conclusion? It's not the main conclusion because it's actually a factor which contributes to the terrifying increase in population that is occurring in Lagos. It's providing evidence as to why the population is growing exponentially and it is a problem that is associated with the sharp increase in the numbers. Okay. And E, the population of Lagos is very young. Now this is also false because we're told it will be very young by 2050 but not that it is young currently. Okay. Now, have a go at this example. Slightly longer passage, but again, we are looking for the main conclusion expressed. Okay, pause the video now. Here, you should have gotten that the answer is E. Okay. The passage is relatively negative and critical about how the NHS is run. So if we look closely, the answer can't be A, we should follow the US star insurance system, because we're told that it is running in the direction of it, not that Stephen Hawking agrees with it. B is also false, because we are being told that with words such as profit and money investment from private agencies off, it's unlikely that there is a lot of investment in the NHS. C, the government is not focused on making profit from the NHS. This is also false, as we are not given any indication of that being the case. D. There is far too much controversy of the, over the NHS. Now, we're not told this in detail, to be honest. We're only told that, that there could be a potential of a two-tier service with the best medicine for the wealthy and an inferior service for the rest. Okay. So now, Stephen Hawking is, is clearly not happy with the direction the NHS is going and therefore is trying to warn the public of the consequences that could follow. Okay. I hope that makes sense. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at a few more examples of conclusion questions to hone all the ability and skills you've learned so far. Thank you for watching this free BMAT tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock the rest of the 100 tutorials and all eight ebooks, click here now.